Kenya, the East African nation, is the world's sixth largest exporter of the food called avocado. It is behind countries like Mexico, United Kingdom, and Peru. The country has officially banned the export of the food till January 2022. This is not the first time Kenyan authorities are banning the export as we can remember they did the same in 2018 due to immature harvesting making it hard to get the desired revenue from the agricultural produce and this time again this is not unconnected with the reasons of the ban in 2018 if you are watching this channel for the very first time welcome to experience africans uh, you are highly welcome click the subscribe button remember to hit the notification bell for more videos like this and if you are a returning subscriber, sharing this video will encourage us to create more amazing videos. Popular varieties 40 and has been rising world demand had led to the shortfall. While farmers are trying to get at the high market price value and lose to the long term gains of having the fruit mature and have longer shelf span and good nutritious values. Most of the supermarkets run into loss as the food gets rot due to the fact that they are not matured before they are being harvested. We have to stop the export of 40 and Harris variety because traders would not ship out matured crops because of high demands in the world market, the horticultural regulators stated. We will see that the ban on 40 and hers variety takes effect on November 15th, uh, which should have taken place by now, with exception given to the exporters who have the jumbo type and those having off-season crops. The closing of hers and 40 harvest season for the 2021 and 2022 fiscal year shall be effective from November 15th to protect our overseas market. Meanwhile, exporters with the jumbo variety who are still allowed to ship out will only do it by air and not sea with the size expected to be at least 184 grams for a single fruit. Dealers and companies with off-season crops shall request verification for inspection from CD regional offices in written within 24 hours as from November 15th. The review on when the ban will be lifted will be conducted on January 15th next year to ascertain the status of the crop. So you can see here that uh, the government are actually trying both to protect the farmers and also protect uh, their own uh, interests as if people begin to realize that this variety of crop is being shipped uh, immaturely and people begin to lose interest in buying the variety it will mean bad for the economy for uh, of Kenya which is making over a hundred million dollars from the sales of avocado every year the move by the regulators is aimed at curbing harvesting of immature crops following rampant cases of traders picking young crops previously to capitalize on the high price of the commodity at the international market. We would like to have your honest opinion on this and how it protects or affects the farmers in the comment section. In the year 2020, avocado sold for over $13.55 billion, in which Kenya is making a revenue of almost a hundred million dollars from the sales of avocado. If Kenya is not careful and does not protect both its citizens and its produce, it will lose this huge amount of revenue which comes from this in gold. Make sure you like and share this video. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video.